Hello, so in our past couple of lessons we learned how to build, learn how to script a little bit, learn all about the properties. Today we're going to do a bit of a bigger project with all of these combined. We're going to learn how to build an obstacle course, at least just the start of the obstacle course. Over here we can click on model to look for a spawn point. So if you click on spawn point, it's going to drop you a spawn point and you can use this as your spawn point. Go back to home and we can click on parts to build anything that you want to build in your obstacle course. So for example, I can build a little jump over here and we can duplicate it and put another jump over here. Remember to increase the jump height a little bit and then over here we can duplicate it and so on and so forth. Don't forget we can change the colors of it so have different colors if you want to or you can choose, choose one or two different colors depending on what style you're going for. Okay, so something like this looks good for me. Don't forget, we can also use some of our property changes. Remember, we talked about collision. So let's take a look at this block over here and also this block over here. So if you remember, the brown wood one is something that you will not collide into, meaning you'll fall off. And the concrete is something that you will collide into, so you will be able to stand on it. You'll see this in a very classic Roblox games you'll see this a lot in like the roblox obstacle courses maybe some of the older ones but you see this quite often let's create a couple of jumps to get across and it should look something like this don't forget you might have to anchor these parts so remember anchoring is when you have these parts be still be stuck in the air so make sure you anchor it so it doesn't fall when you play the game once you press play we'll spawn on the spawn point and we'll try to play our game so we should spawn at this spawn point, like over here. We can jump on this part, jump on this part. Don't forget, you must always test your games. And remember, one of them is non-collidable, so let's try out this one. As you can see, I can stand on this. However, the other one is non-collidable, so I'll fall through it. So this is just the start of the obstacle course. You can start by building this, and don't forget to add other things, especially the things we covered last time, perhaps the damage script or even the spin script.